These are super cool. These are super like high tech, very, very uh, almost like military, uh, super cool um, um, binoculars. You obviously know how to use binoculars. We've got the covers on here. You know, they're very flexible so that you can uh, um, uh, open them depending on how, uh, how uh, you know, far and, and wide apart your eyes are. Very easy to adjust the, vol uh, the, uh, the volume, the, uh, uh, the magnification right there. But what's so cool about these is they also come with a holder, a clip, that allows you to take your cell phone, right, and attach them to your cell phone so that now you can record anything that you are seeing through your cell phone. There's a little, you'll see there's a little eyepiece on the back of the holder. Actually, we have video that shows it a little bit better, but look at how cool this is. So now I can record, I can take snapshots using the power of my binoculars versus the power of the magnification on your phone, which is usually minimal or, or that's nothing, right? It is absolutely brilliant. So it comes with the clip. Um, it's perfect for hiking, uh, out on the lake, Hunters love these, bird watching, vacations. What about concerts? Or maybe traveling on vacation. You're going out to Sedona and you want to take pictures of all, of all the beauty, but you know you, you want to use something where you can record. Well, you can use the phone to record what the, uh, what the binoculars are seeing. Um, it's very, very limited. We brought in about 800 of these. Hey, Pat, how many do I have left? Four, all right, I have, I have less than 450 to go around if you wanna get these for mom or dad or if you wanna get them for your kids. Maybe you wanna get it as a Valentine's present for your sweetie, you could do that as well, 743867. Let me introduce uh, you to our uh, special guest. Oh, by the way, lifetime warranty. They are virtually industry. You, you look at them. They are virtually indestructible. They come with a lifetime war uh, warranty. Uh, Doug Delgadio is standing by on Skype. Doug, good to see you again. Another really hey, cool item from Carson. I know, right? I feel like we're always talking about stuff with smartphone adapters, I but know. this, I think, kind of <laughs> takes the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk we'll about it. We'll start with the binoculars. Yeah. yeah, we'll start with the binoculars themselves. I mean, these are definitely probably one of my favorite in our line, uh, mainly because, I mean, they look awesome. Their optics are great. So the back four prisms, you touched on it, 10 by 34 millimeter. So they're still pretty powerful, but they're also compact, lightweight. So instead of carrying around those big, bulky binoculars, yeah. you can have something you can throw in your backpack, keep in your glove box. And you know, best part about them, they're completely waterproof, like you mentioned. So you drop these things in a puddle, you're outside in the rain, you don't have to worry about them getting damaged. Just really, really great to have on you. And like you touch, I mean, smartphone adapter. You, you go outside now, yeah. you can go outside and look at the birds. You can, like you said, sporting events, uh, your kids' my, sporting events. My so, father, you know. yeah, my father, Doug, you know, he was, yeah. he was, uh, he was a, uh, kind of an outdoors sportsman, did all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Back in the day when we had, when he, you know, we had a full family and not a lot of meat. My father used to hunt. He would, you know, he would do ducks and deer, he'd get one deer a year um, right. until, until they made, my parents made him enough money where it, he was like, okay, we don't need deer anymore, but he would just use it. <laughs> he would use it to bird watch. He had two yeah. pictures windows on either side of our house in Connecticut yep. and my father would be there and he had a set of binoculars Doug <laughs> they were like yeah. they had dude, to weigh right? dude they had to weigh 20 pounds all right yeah, yeah. they I, were I this it. big and and they were really hard to work because if you're a smaller person you, you know you barely could get them on on your face yep. and I think my father spent like 200 bucks on that and that was oh, back, wow. I'm talking yeah. about back in the 70s all right because it was expensive yeah yeah this is like half the price. It's probably, the, I, I guarantee it's the same magnification as my dad had, because my, what my father was looking at were things that were like, you know, between, you know, sort of like 50 and, and 200 feet away. You know, birds, yeah. Oh, yeah. animals, squirrels. He used to love to watch squirrels. Squirrels are so smart. And yep. I'm telling you, he would love it, but he never had the ability to be able to actually take video or pictures. Yeah, so ex yeah, explain that feature to us. Yeah, so I mean, actually, you, you touched on it. I mean, um, back in the day when I first started with this company, we started going on bird walks, and it's really the first time that I really had any hands on experience with binoculars myself. And, um, you know, we had an older model of these that I got handed, and I just was kind of like looking, I'm like, really, can, can I see with this small of a binocular? And yeah. when I started using these things, I was fascinated. I mean, the pictures you're showing now, I mean, we hooked, hooked our smartphone adapters up to it. We were walking around the park, checking out all kinds of birds that, I didn't even know existed. So to be able to capture this stuff and save it and share it with your friends and family is, is really awesome. And it's so easy to hook up to your binocular as well. I don't know if you can pan to me real quick, but yeah. um, you know, 
basically the smartphone adapter just clips right on your phone. I have this preset to mine already, um, but basically you line up the hole with your camera lens and you snap all these things in place. So next time you go to use your phone, you, t you take this out, it's already preset to the size of your phone. So it'll just slide right in, snap in, and you don't really have to mess around with it. And all you have to do is just twist out an eye cup this goes right on there like this. Oh, and now awesome. you can use this as your viewfinder, just like you showed. So go outside, you go in your kids' sporting events. If you're having a hard time seeing them kick the ball around, you can bring this with you, capture a nice <laughs> video instead of being so far away, yeah. you know? And Doug, you know, what, what if you got somebody, like, and I'm not trying not to be like Mr. Uh, negative here, but <laughs> what if you got somebody that's like stealing your paper? Right, exactly. your newspaper, right. Right? and they're way, they're 100 <laughs> yards to the end of your driveway, and you're like, yep. somebody's taking my paper. I yep. want to get some proof on this, right? You've Snap got proof, and, and you know, it, it, <laughs> I, I, not that I was thinking negative, but I, the first thing came to my mind was, I remember years and years ago when I used to get a paper, somebody was taking my newspaper, and I was like, dang, I wish I, this was before, we, had, I knew. before we even had cameras, right? Like out yeah, on our yeah. property, but uh -huh. this is a great way to be able to, and, and I would keep these, I would take them wherever I go. I keep them in my backpack, yeah. obviously, when I'm when I'm hiking and, and biking and camping and all that. Yep. But I would keep them in the in the glove box of the car. And by the way, yep. let me show you what what Doug's including too. I, this is a really, really yeah, comes with a bunch of neat stuff, dude. This hard this hard shell case. That, yeah. This is really really nice. So your binoculars will go right inside, just like that. So you can zip them up, take them wherever you go. Right there's a uh, there's a, a little uh, neck strap. Str yeah, a little neck strap that goes with it. Yep. That is right over here. So you got a little neck strap so you can wear them around your neck. Um, what about your kids at their soccer game or your or your Absolutely. sporting events, Doug? That's really big, right? Yeah, and I actually, actually was joking around with my buddy about this before, just when we start going back to concerts, right? I mean, you get those nosebleed seats, yeah. you have a pair of these, and now you're front row, you know? So it's it's just, like you said, they're great to have around. They're so small and portable that you can pretty much keep Dude, them anywhere. I, I needed these for my old, uh, back when I went to an ACDC concert. Yeah, back in there like we go. The, It was like the late <laughs> 80s, and I think I went to it. I, no, but it, you think I'm joking? I'm not. We were so I, far I away. We went and saw Springsteen at, uh, in, uh, at the Boston Garden, and we were so far oh, away, great. we couldn't see anything. So yeah. these are wonderful. They come with a lifetime warranty. Um, I I've got a remaining, I have 390 something left. They're going really quickly. So if you got somebody that uh, has a gift giving opportunity coming up, they're great, you know, Doug, great for kids too, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, they're so easy to use. So to have your kid kind of go outside or even just be in a park and just to kind of look at things and check things out, so easy to hook right up to your binocular. I might, you know, they all know how to use phones and cameras at this point, so I don't think that's a that's a worry. So as soon as they hook this thing up, they'll be able to use it. it the, uh, one of the nice things about binoculars is that as soon as you put them up to your eye and you get that first focus, it's like the first time I got a telescope, microscope. You, yeah. you know, you're in the business. Yep. It's a world you've never seen before. It, it is, truly a, is. You've never, yeah. you know, normally, like, let's say this, like, I remember when I lived in Arizona, there were, the, the quail would come in the morning, right, with their babies, yep. and there'd be like a mommy, daddy, a mommy and a daddy, and like nine little babies, and they would go across the fence, and, but if you got close to them, they would all it's, shuffle off and take off. When you've got binoculars, you can see them like they're right in front of you. So it opens yep. up a world. Like, like I said, you know, and Doug also, they specialize in microscopes. You remember the yep. first time you looked at like the, a human cell or, yeah. a, or a hair <laughs> and you were like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, we've, right? we've talked about this before. Yeah, yeah. about, you know, I've, I've been with the company for so long. I've kind of gotten like uh, yeah, desensitized to, it. to yeah. seeing these things. I know. But when you you pick up something like this for the first time and you zoom in on, you know, a cardinal or something very, very close, it yes. really kind of blows your mind. Just the detail and the clarity is when, just unbelievable. I always recommend people, I'm like, and cardinal is a good one because I love, and that was also my dad and mom's favorite birds. I love cardinals. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they're just so beautiful, especially when they hang around in the winter and they, there's snow around, they're beautiful. But but yep. we used to love to look at squirrels. A squirrel is, squirrels are so stinking smart. They I are. A, they I got a squirrel are. right now living in my house and, and he's digging up my plants. So I had to go buy <laughs> squirrel like repellent. And I've seen, yeah. I watch him. Somebody's giving him peanuts because he always comes to my house and he buries yep. his peanuts in my plants. And I wouldn't mind it, but he makes a mess. But anyway, it's, it's I yeah, watch yeah. this little guy and he knows me now because he knows when yeah. I'm coming and he runs away. Oh, yeah. But I, I, if you have been binoculars and you could watch him. I swear he's probably up there with his squirrel buddies just like, oh, did you see that yep, jerk? Doing he's, acrobatics, oh hanging my gosh. off the feeder. But they're, they're so much fun to watch. And my dad <laughs> yeah. too, when, when we had squirrels, you know, the squirrels would, would try to get out the bird feeder. 
Yep. Everything yeah. we tried, we could not get that squirrel to Never not get, somehow get to that feeder. Problem was the feeder was like 100 feet from the house. So when we had his binoculars, I'd be like, Dad, look at this thing. Yep. He's laughing at the tinfoil that you put <laughs> on there. He thinks the tinfoil is hilarious. I can see oh, and then, you know, my father tried to put <laughs> grease on the pole. It's like nothing's working. If you want to see it and you want to record it, and you want to take pictures of it, this is the system they have. I got a couple of hundred with everybody online. Doug, great job, buddy. Good to see uh, you. Yeah. Awesome seeing you, guy. Have a good weekend, all right? All right, partner. You too. Be well. Take care. All right. Uh, $109.99. If you want to get $40 off, brand new h credit card drops $40 off the price if you want to grab that. Hey, really quickly, I asked my producer, Pat, to pull up the Eubanks Steam Chief. We've only got a